So I've been away for like a week because, well, I've been sick as hell. I mean, I was bedridden, not feeling good. So I decided to take this time to just sit back, sleep, drink a lot of water, and heal up as quickly as possible. Now I finally have the energy to make videos again, so here I am. No webcam though, because I still feel and look like ass. But it's been far too long since I've talked with you guys, so let's get right into the details here. So 343 recently put this blog together, detailing a lot of the new modes coming in with Season 2. Mainly talking about the three modes that are coming in with Season 2 called King of the Hill, which has a new variation, which we'll, we'll get into in this video. We also have Land Grab coming in here, which is kind of similar to like King of the Hill and like Strongholds put together kind of thing. And then you have Last Spartan Standing, which we have some very interesting news about this mode later in the video. The blog continues to talk about this mode, especially when it comes to King of the Hill first off and mainly the thing about it is that it's going to act the exact same way as you expect King of the Hill to act like but the difference is instead of having a cumulative time like you've had traditionally the new variation of it will have it so you earn one point when you capture the hill kind of like a stronghold kind of thing. They don't mention how many points it takes to win a game I would assume probably like five but it might be depending on the map and the mechanic works exactly as the same as like a stronghold where like it basically has a momentum of like going back and forth or who actually owns the hill but once you actually capture that hill the next location is randomized for the quick play of it mode though but for the ranked version the entire sequence is consistent as well so players can predict where to set up next I like this change because of the way the King of the Hill used to work out where it would be mathematically impossible to win and that's so I hate when those situations happen and this was a qu easy way to alleviate that. Now we'll just see how long it takes for that timer to capture the hill but we'll see until the season 2 actually comes out. Next we talk about the new mode land grab which is essentially a variation of strongholds where you have 3 points on the map but once you capture that zone it's permanently yours which gives you 1 point. Saying that this naturally whittles down each set of 3 zones towards one final zone crescendo and set and the first team to 11 points wins next to talk about the mode i'm sure a lot of people are excited about myself included last spartan standing now this has gotten some news in the media which we'll cover it again like i said in this video which is some head shaking uh, titles for sure and that's coming from a youtuber and essentially the way the mode works is that there are 12 players on the map in a btb lobby you have five lives total once you run out of those lives you're permanently out of the match now random equipment and power equipment come from ordinance drops like you have in regular btb mode equipment can be found in some interior locations so things like the grapple shots your shields and stuff like that so that's gonna be really cool so a little bit of a looting aspect too which is gonna be great uh, on the map weapons and also vehicles are disabled that's great i think and also an interesting thing which i'm not quite sure about grenades are randomized each time they spawn so that's gonna be kind of a cool way to kind of make a plan of attack and there's gonna be a bit of a gun game element to this whole thing as well where you start out with a weapon and as you gain player score you're able to level up and then once you get level up high enough you get a prompt to where you can reach the next level of your next weapon similar kind of like we have with Escal escalation slayer but it's more like you choose when you level up rather than the game automatically doing it for you so say you got a battle rifle and you really want to keep it for the rest of the game well you can do that interesting thing here is saying modified attrition ai bubbles to dispense bonus xp when a player is eliminated they drop their ai bubble in the world in last spartan standing enemy players can interact with these and collect 300 personal score or three times what is worth a kill oh so you know there's definitely gonna be some teabagging in the death cams coming in this mode for sure now remember how i said there was some cringe worthy news about this well GameSpot went ahead and just said that halo infinite's battle royale mode last spartan standing is coming may 3rd and uh well from what we just described yeah it's not battle royale well at all i mean this is straight up clickbait right here and that's coming from a youtuber guys now the article itself they slightly recover saying battle royale like spartan's last spartan standing mode which i would say yeah it's battle royale like yes but it's definitely not a battle royale and you basically see they basically just kind of it's a bit just kind of fish you into the article to click clicks and people talk about it but essentially just kind of reiterated what we just talked about right now from the blog update I feel the reason why they were so quick to jump onto the Battle Royale mode is because it's been in the news recently with that Jez Corden leak, which is that certain Affinity kind of update we've been hearing a lot about saying that, you know, it is a Battle Royale and it's been in development for over two years. It's a huge deal, you know, trying to grab people from Warzone, Call of Duty, and Fortnite, Apex, and stuff like that, you know, but still a ways out. They said targeted probably around season three or four. After listening to this interview, it probably would be more towards the end of this year, if at earliest. It also ties into the forge mode and will be brought to you by certain affinity it sounds like they would just be 
full control of the, the Battle Royale mode in Halo. Which would certainly fall in line the way Call of Duty handles their Battle Royale mode, because Infinity Ward might actually make the mode and also design it, but it's up to Raven Studios to maintain it. And I'm pretty sure certain Infinity will probably have about the same amount of leverage, if not a little bit more, just because they've had such a close relationship with 343. Again, BR leaks, you know, we've heard this a million times, we'll have to wait and see until it actually happens. Though some other game modes coming in with Season 2 for Halo Infinite, you guys might have not heard a whole lot about, is Rumble Pit for Free For Alls coming back, and then also for a rotating playlist, we have Social Skirmish, Social Slayer, which I'm pretty sure will have probably different weapon starts in my guess, Team, Sli Team Snipers, Team Doubles, and more throughout the season, which is really great. And some of the more unique modes they have coming in is Ninja Slayer, which is like energy swords and grapple shots. They have Vampire Ball, where basically if you're holding the ball, you smack somebody, you take their shields and rocket repulsors, which basically you have rockets and repulsors. But what mode are you looking forward to the most for Season 2 of Halo Infinite? Let me know in the comment section down below. Continue on with some Xbox-related news, which if you're free-to-play players or play on Xbox, well, you might be coming across some ads according to this article. Xbox games could soon have more ads, not referring to the free-to-play games. So Microsoft is reportedly looking into letting advertisers insert ads into free-to-play Xbox games. This program is reportedly going to launch by the third quarter of this year. So very soon. Weird thing here saying that, that Microsoft isn't reported to be interested in the, a cut of the advertising revenue, but more interested in building Xbox advertising network. Instead, the revenue from the ads will be shared between game developers and respective ad companies, which is kind of like nice, you would think from a major corporation. Of course, still not good on the player's end to have to deal with more ads, especially on services that sometimes you've already paid for. My assumption is that since there are free to play games that do not require Xbox Live, those players would probably be the people getting the, the ads because it's still gotta sell them something. They can't be completely playing for free, right? Microsoft is aware of the backlash as they do kind of report here, saying that the uh, console players aren't accustomed to seeing in-game ads unlike mobile players. For example, EA placed in-game ads for UFC 4, but removed them after fan outcry, which would totally make sense on a paid product like UFC 4. Like you're you're paying for this. Like you don't need to have ads running inside of it as well to sell you more stuff. So this sounds like a double-edged sword where it might suck for the uh, user end experience, but might be very beneficial for you in the long run as it'll help go towards the money of the game development of a lot of games within Microsoft Studios, which after the Activision acquisition, yeah, there's gonna be a lot more games. But since we're talking about some free stuff here, HCS will be giving you away some free stuff if you watched the tournament on April 29th through May 1st. This is HCS Kansas City, the international event that's going to be happening. I will be there in person. I'm super excited about this. And the ways you get these free bits of customization is either watching the Halo channel or the Xbox channel on Twitch. Just Twitch alone. That's why these are Twitch drops. Basically, all you do is you go onto Twitch, you link your Xbox account with the Twitch account, and you're good to go. If you watch at least three hours worth of the tournament guys this weekend to be able to earn these codings here just fine if you also watch for one hour at least on sunday may 1st for the championship games you'll be earning this weapon charm as well if you watch at least two hours throughout the weekend you get this back banner right here and also if you just watch one hour throughout the entirety of the weekend you also get this trophy so these do stack up so if you want to optimize your time Spend three hours on Sunday and you'll be able to get all this stuff combined. And all you have to do is just have a tab open with the stream. You don't have to be actively watching, actively chatting, or having even like activated on your page. You just need to have it open on your desktop and it will be counting your hours. Here's a sweet in-game shot of the extermination weapon charm. It does look rather awesome. I'll definitely will be double tasking while I'm in Kansas City. Also for the Kansas City event, a really cool thing, an all-star game will be happening there with captains of Renegade and Lucid. They should be picking their own players to play in this all-star tournament for the Friday event, which all these big international majors have an event tied to them. Much like at Raleigh, we had the BTB Bonanza. Here we have an all-star game. So definitely keep an eye out for that. So if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. Got a link to all of my Halo informational videos you need to know more about. So thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.